So you just bought a Marlin 5 and you want to know about the top five practical upgrades you can do to it? Yeah. We're about to tell you. So let's get on topic. Hey everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out Arizona and you're watching another great episode of Toolbox Topic. I'm joined once again by my co-host Brandon Van Leeuwen. Brandon, how the hell are you? I'm doing all right. Nice. Have a good weekend and everything like that? Yeah, it was fine. Any pickleball? No. No? No pickleball? The courts are too crowded. It sucks. Goddamn snowbirds. <laughs> Fuck. I can't even get a good game of pickleball in these days. It's a sad world. It is. <laughs> We're coming to you once again from Trek Bicycle Stores of West Phoenix in Goodyear, Arizona, because it's where the cool kids hang out, eh? And me. And as we alluded to in the introduction, we are going to talk about the top five practical upgrades yeah. to make to your Marlin 5. Now, the Marlin 5 is still one of the best-selling mountain bikes in the country, uh, right alongside with, uh, what, the Specialized Stump Jumper, or is it Rock Hopper? Yeah, around, well, as far as numbers of sales are concerned, the Marlin is up there. Right. Uh, I know a couple years back, it was the best-selling yeah, bike. Yeah, about a year ago. I couldn't, I couldn't verify that today, but... Um, we sell tons and tons of them here. Let's put it that way. Yeah. This is probably our bread and butter bike, Marlin 5. Well, for the price point, you can't beat it. You know, Giant has one, Specialized has one. Everybody, yeah. every manufacturer has that bike. But when it comes to a bike like this, even though you're getting a good quality aluminum frame, you're getting that backed by a lifetime guarantee with Trek, you're getting very serviceable and upgradable parts. Yeah. This is also something we don't want to, you know, dump the farm into upgrading. Exactly. You, so if you, have, if you own a Marlin 5, you've owned it for two reasons. A... You're probably starting out, and you don't know if you're going to dig the sport, so you yep. haven't. You don't want to spend a ton of money on your mountain bike um, because you don't want to, you know, invest a ton of it in, right. into it. Or maybe that's just where the pocketbook, um, you know, absolutely. Everybody um, has a budget, you. and it's still, a, it's a great bike. It's a, it's again one of our best-selling bikes, and yep. people have a great time on this bike. They it's do. It's capable. If you think about a Marlin Five, which we consider our most entry-level mountain bike now, compared to the bikes that you and I grew up riding, oh, this one Jesus. smokes it. Absolutely smokes it. Yeah. And what's the price point again on this? This is like 800 bucks, 850 bucks. No, no, it's like 600 bucks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. God, yeah. man, it's very just, affordable. Yep. You can't beat so that. So that reason, we want to talk about the top five mods that we can do to this bike, but we're going to be practical about practical it, like you about said. It. Yep. We're not going to put a Fox fork on this thing. That's something I would do, by the we're way. We're not going to put. We're not going to put NV wheels on it. You <laughs> and know. That's something again I would do, <laughs> just because. Not only I'm, can't I'm you do that on this bike, but you wouldn't do that yeah. on this bike. Um, you know, if if. If both the skill or the level of, of interest and the pocketbook would allow, you would have already purchased right. a Roscoe 9 or, or an EX of, any, of some sort. So. Right, a fuel EX or, yeah. or maybe even a slash or something yeah. like that. The more you get into it, the more you're going to want out of your bike, and yeah. so you're going to increase the yeah. level of bike. So let's just talk about making your Marlin 5 experience badass. And yeah, badass. Yeah, badass, yeah, exactly. as badass as it can be. <laughs> kind of like friggin', what was that? Run DMC, tougher than leather. Or what was the one? Bad as they want to be. I don't know. It's from the <laughs> 80s, guys, and the, That's the right. trauma. What are you going to do? So, <laughs> All I know is tricky. <laughs> All right, to rock a rhyme. That's right on time. Guys, I know by now you're like, Jesus, get, get, get to it. All right. Get to it. Get Number to five. It. Number five. We said driver post. Number five. So this is the least important to me. I would have ranked it higher, guys, but yeah. we're going, this is the world according to Brandon mm -hmm. right now, so chime <laughs> in down below on the comments. So the dropper post, you're ranking number five, but it is nice to have one in PNW, which stands for Pacific Northwest. Yes. Yeah? Yes. They make the best, in our humble opinion, externally external routed dropper. dropper post. So um, on this really guy, they great. do give you one port here to go internal until we get to the bottom bracket, and then you're gonna be external. Mm -hmm. um, and I think people really enjoy the dropper post. I think they get a lot out of it. They do. It is gonna be probably the most expensive upgrade, even though it's my least important, it's the most expensive upgrade you'll do. $279, I believe. I'm gonna have that link down below. Plus some install. Um, but still, I think people really love dropper posts. Yes. And I think it'll enhance the experience on this bike for sure. No, absolutely. Um, and give you a chance to be a little bit more aggressive on your downhill mm -hmm. riding. So yeah, if sure. that's going to be your, uh, your, your flavor mm -hmm. of uh, trail riding. So, all right, that was number five. All right. Four dropper and three posts. were kind of a tie to me, but we'll okay. just start since we're talking about dropper posts. We'll start yeah. with the saddle. Saddle, absolutely. A lot of people don't like that saddle. It's very narrow. Mm -hmm. It's very hard. Yep. There's plenty of other options out there. I like Again, the Chromag myself, guys. Yeah, I tell people, you know, try it out, see how it goes. Usually people 
are not very stoked on the saddle. Right. So I would say, again, try it out, but the saddle will probably be something that you're gonna wanna upgrade. And again, for less than a hundred bucks, you can get yourself a saddle that's gonna feel better, look better, be lighter, all those things. Yeah. And that'd be awesome. And, and my bet, like I said, I like the Chrome mag it fits my sits bones. I like the Chrome mag too, because it gives you the most adjustment front to back. Uh, one, it's like one of the, it's a saddle that has one of the longest sets of rails for that forward, uh, backward uh, adjustment. Yeah. And it's, it's easy to install, too. You get some saddles that are just kind of wonky with your seat posts and everything yeah. like that. It's, it's nice because the rails are so long, you have a lot of fore and aft yeah. adjustment as well. Yeah, um, so absolutely. that helps also not only with install, but fit. Yep. All right, so saddle okay. was number four. Okay. Number three number is... Number three, and again, those were, these were a close tie for me. The grips. Okay, I would agree on that, though. <sighs> these grips, they just, they don't... F They're rough. There's a, nothing there. A... <laughs> Grips are very inexpensive, and they that's are. and that's where you, I mean that's where you touch. That's one of the yep. senses when you're riding your bike. Um, these feel a little cheesy. They're hard. They're narrow. Mm -hmm. For for thirty There's forty bucks, there. you can get something that's really gonna make you much more comfortable. It's gonna yeah. look a lot better. I'm not so concerned that's about it. the looks because I ride the Egons or the Ergons <laughs> um, because they friggin' uh, fit my hand so well. And they are comfortable, especially on the longer rides. But yeah, yeah there's a variety of different grips out there. And, and you could spend anywhere from $30 to $40 to get a quality grip that's going to make your hand feel good throughout the duration of your ride. So, And I think ergonomics is huge. So important when it comes yeah. to uh, bike comfort and bike enjoyment. So, so if you have problems with hand numbness or, and yeah. just... Again, this is this is where you touch. Your, right. your hands are on all the time, so I, I want that to feel a little bit nicer. Absolutely. And, and look better as well. Absolutely. Um, so that was number three. Okay. Grips, number two So number is... two, I think, is very specific for Arizona. Okay. I'm going to go with tires. Okay. I bet you these tires perform awesome in the Midwest or there's real dirt. Yeah, I would never ride these on the... They, the, they, they, they don't Arizona cut trails. here. No, I'd be looking at a, an Ardent from a Maxxis. Something, something with more grip. I think on this bike, uh, so the Ardents, you know, keep, again, keeping it practical, and this is the only one that I know from the shop is going to be the new XT3 from Von oh, Traeger. okay. It's definitely more aggressive. It's yep. wider. It's got more air volume. Um, but it doesn't have the price tag as the Ardent. It doesn't have, too. right, right. It's not tubeless, so you're not paying for something that you're not going to use on yeah. this bike since it's not a tubeless bike. Correct. But there's other, again, there's so many options out there. I think there still is some Maxxis wire bead options that are more aggressive as well that, that, that you want to No, but that Bond Traeger is a good option. And we'll yeah. have a link for that down below too. Yeah, for sure. So out here, these XR2s, they don't they don't cut it. No. I, in my opinion. They're, they're no, because we have that over rock over hard ground. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we get some sandy wash bottoms and stuff like that. And just uh, a lot, I've, I've noticed more lately too on the trails, uh, broken granite for whatever mm -hmm. reason, just, yeah. and, and the it's trails really are used so much. fine, yeah, just, yeah. and it's it's hard, it's hard to maintain control. Right. Even with a good set of tires, it's hard to maintain control yeah. sometimes. The nice thing is here, you're gonna chew up tires so fast that uh, that's one of those things like, you don't, you know, it's a mod, yes, but it's something you don't have to do right away because you're gonna need tires in six yeah. months. Burn anyways. these out and Burn then go out ahead and, and get, get some a new better set. tires. Absolutely, yep. so um, it's a consumable, just like your uh, yep. your brake pads or something like that. Yeah, yep. So, Precisely. all right, so that was number two, yep. was tires. Number one, why do I feel like this is a Letterman top 10? <laughs> you know, for those of you old enough yeah, to remember right. Dave Letterman's top 10. <laughs> All right, number one, Brandon, number in one your opinion. That I would do day one. Day one. Bike is, bike is brand new, you haven't even ridden it yet. Okay. Put new pedals on this thing. Okay. I Well, yeah, I'm I would sorry. agree. sorry, Trek, I love you, but these pedals they suck. They do suck. Well, and for 600 bucks, what are you gonna get? Right. I mean, at that point, and when you go higher up, they don't even come with pedals, you have to add pedals. Right. But you can get yourself a quality set of flats for $50, $60, that set that you sold me for Esmeralda, I love those things. Which ones did you get? The uh, the black or? ones. I think they're the Chester's, the flats, the race face. I think chesters. they were like I think they were like seventy bucks yeah. or something Ch like race that. Race face Chester's yeah. probably. Guys, seriously, those things those have been good. bashed all to hell, mm -hmm. and I keep expecting to shatter them, <laughs> <laughs> but they haven't. They've they've definitely held up and they're a little bit bigger platform. They fit your foot. You're more comfortable again for those longer rides. I would agree with that as yep. far as uh, replacing yep, the because these have no grip to them. No. I would say the only good thing about them is if you get a pedal strike, it's not going to leave a mark on your shin. You won't be bloody after that, after these guys. There's but, the fun in that, though. But these are just not... <laughs> uh, so, there's, you know, when we talk about selling bikes uh, around here, the three things we say, protect your head, yep. drink water, protect your tires, and now when I'm selling a Marlin 5, let's put new pedals on this thing, too. Yeah. 
Yeah. So that's top three and the bonus for selling a, a Marlin. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, and it does make sense. Um, and I know I've ridden a stock pedal before. And yeah, so you're coming down the downhill. It's chatter, it's bumpy and everything oh, like that. I can't that. imagine anybody can stay on those. You have to really force your feet onto the pedals. And those guys and gals who know what I'm talking about, you'll get it to keep them on there. And now... Um, you're stiff and you're not loose and you're not able to turn and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So yeah, I would definitely agree. Pedals are, are a must yep. replacement on there. And for, yeah, 60, 70 bucks. Yeah, it's, it's great. And, and again, the bike will look better. It'll perform better. Absolutely. And for a very inexpensive uh, investment. And some of these things too, you can actually take with you to the next bike. So if you took these pedals off and put them aside and then you get a better bike, you can put these back on when you go to resale. Yep. Um, that's not unheard of. Uh, same thing with your saddle keep the stock saddle, replace it. I've got a couple mm -hmm. stock saddles in my garage for that very reason. Um, and so these aren't uh, part-time investments. These are going to be the long-term if you choose to stay with the, I guess for a better term, sport, but the recreational activity of, of mountain biking. Because right. um, it is a lot of fun. And I think most people who get out there and do it, they get addicted really quick. Yeah. And then they realize they're not sending the kids to college. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they get a scholarship, because it's time. Daddy needs a new bike. Yeah. <laughs> scholarship. Now, if you guys can guess that movie <laughs> from that limited reference, you've earned our respect. So, there you have it. The top five practical, mm -hmm. in our opinion, upgrades <laughs> to make to your Marlin 5 out of the gate or within the first couple months of owning it. Um, I don't think any of them you would be disappointed with. No. And I think all of them... They're, they're not gratuitous. Again, we're not talking about upgrading to a front suspension that's yeah. for this bike out of the league or a new hub set that doesn't make sense. You're not going to put Chris Kings on this. Yes. Although, again, mm. I, just because, I don't know, because I'm dumb that way. Again, <laughs> I'll blame that one on the head trauma too. But <laughs> So, like, subscribe, bell notification icon if you enjoyed the video. Why? Because it helps out the video. It helps out the channel. And we really appreciate that kind of support. There's going to be links down below. The most important one is to check Bicycle Stores of West Phoenix. Huh? All right. If you have any questions about what you've seen today, follow the link. Give Brandon and one of his teammates a call. Be more than happy to help you. A great group of individuals down here. Also, there's going to be links to our social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, the devil's work. But it's important to get the day-to-day -day of Get Out Arizona out there. Show us some support there. Group hikes, group bike rides. It's a whole lot of fun, guys. I guarantee you, you'll enjoy it. And the rest of the links are affiliate links. We receive a small commission. You are not charged an additional amount of money. And it helps us out with the second trifecta we enjoy so much, which is gas money, park pass money, and coffee money. Although I'm still drinking shitty decaf Circle K. So take that for what you will. Um, but it's nice because a little goes a long way, I guess, of the Circle K. So. <laughs> All right, my friends. At this point of the video, what do we always say seriously to close it out? Kind of yourself and others. Be amazing stewards on that trail. Yes. And we have to ask, what are you waiting for? Get out of Arizona. Yeah. We'll see you on that next adventure. Take care, everybody. Brandon, we'll see you next oh, week, yeah. man. Bye.